There are just a few global parameters that we should know about inside of Simply. The first is the pan control, which allows me to position the sound either left or right or center within my mix or the output of Simpler. The spread, which allows me to slightly detune the left and the right channels, giving me a thicker stereo image. So at zero, they're perfectly in tune. And at 100%, a little bit fatter image. The RAN pan here stands for random panorama, which means that every time I trigger a new note, if I have this set to 100%, it's going to be randomly positioned within the left and the right channels. So if I jump up to 100%, you're listening to stereo, you can hear that jumping all around, where if I'm at 0%, always wherever I've set the pan to be. We've already seen the VELT of velocity, which stands for how much does the velocity of the incoming MIDI note affect the overall volume output of Simpler? Then we have the transposition and detune, which allows me to tune the, in the output of my Simpler, uh, either semitones or cents. So there's 100 cents to every semitone, and then there's 12 semitones to an octave. The last and most important global parameter here is the volume control. This allows us to boost or attenuate the total output of our Simpler instrument. It's really important, especially when working with multiple or a polyphonic instrument, to keep that volume under control. We don't want to ever, ever run into digital clipping where we're producing a signal that's greater than we're capable of describing in the digital world because we'll just get a really terrible sound coming out of that. So always, as you're building up that sound, be watching this volume output to make sure that we're never going into the red at any stage within our signal flow in our meters. So that's it. Now it's time to start looking at how to build some sounds in Simpler.